Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up the Webmin GUI Admin Control Panel for Ubuntu hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing on the Google Cloud Platform. From here, you want to create a new virtual machine. So simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this screen where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name Choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. After that, scroll down and choose the disk size according to your requirements. Scroll down even more and simply click on accept the agreement and hit on deploy. After that, you would have to wait for the deployment process to complete. While it is being deployed, check out the link in the description box which will take you to the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Webmin GUI for Ubuntu on the cloud platforms. After it has been deployed, you want to open up the SSH terminal of your virtual machine by simply clicking here. In the SSH terminal, we want to simply configure the SSL certificate of Webmin Server because sometimes when you try to access the Webmin Server, it results in an error for SSL certificate. So type in the command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash webmin forward slash miniserve dot config and hit enter. In this file, you want to change this SSL tag right over here from 1 to 0. After that, hit Ctrl O, hit Enter and Ctrl X to save and exit the file. After that, you want to restart the service of Webmin. For that, type in the command sudo forward slash etc forward slash init.d forward slash webmin space restart. After that, you are good to go. So now, head back over to Google Cloud Platform. Click on this hamburger icon, scroll down and click on compute engines. From here, copy this external IP of our newly created virtual machine and paste it inside a new tab and then add in the port number 10,000 because the webmin server runs on the port number 10,000 and hit enter. Now you can see it is asking us for a username and a password but we have not given any username or password so what is this? So basically it is the username and the password of the root users of the operating system on which webmin is installed. So that would be our root user for the SSS terminal. But we know that the username is root but we have not given it any password. So we can either give a password to the root user or we can create a new user. So for this tutorial we are simply going to give the password to the root user. For that simply type in the command sudo space password with the spelling p a w s w d and hit enter. After that, it is going to ask you for the new password. So type in the password and when you have updated the password, simply go back to the page and refresh it and then type in the username root and the password that you have just given it. That should allow to log in to the webmin GUI. Now to create a new user, you can check out the link in the description box for the step by step blog post guide in which the commands for creating a new user and adding them to the sudo users group is written from here. The very first thing that you want to do is that you want to refresh all the modules. So simply click on this button that says refresh modules. After that, if you want to install certain packages or update the packages, simply hit on system and then go to software package updates. Select the packages that you want to update and then simply click on update selected packages. And then you simply have to click on install now to start installing all the packages. So that was it on how to set up Webmin GUI for Ubuntu hosted on Google Cloud Platform. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section and make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing and for the step by step blog post guide. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.